In this little update I want to talk to you guys about how it's actually possible that Tyson is so incredibly powerful. I want to also show you some or explain you the underlying concept behind Tyson. But before I get into that, please take a little moment of your time, give that video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, you might wonder why are these signals so strong? There are also so many other signals. Well, let me show you an example of one trade that we took yesterday. Robin was sending me this picture. I actually didn't take the trade myself. So this is what you see on all trade when you place the Tyson trade. And we enter here on this little green arrow and we have four tick profits. In the last video, I showed you one option how to trade Tyson manually and take advantage of the breakouts of the trend. So a ton of our signals, a ton of the Tyson signals have these massive 100, 200, 300% moves. I think the biggest one was actually 1,700% and there are different ways to take advantage of it. What makes it so different to other signal providers? If you're following our channel for a while, maybe you saw one video where I was talking about one explicit competitor and actually we had to delete that video because they were threatening us we were actually showing their algorithm because it's just the super trend and they do aggressive marketing on that but i'm not gonna say any names here again just just letting you know that our background is very different by working with a real institutional trader it has a background of over 15 years at the amsterdam stock exchange working as a quant so i honestly believe that tyson has the strongest signals available on the internet if you know any other really strong signals please leave a comment down below i'm really curious to see anything that compares to that so how is it possible that we forecast these massive moves and get in at such low volatility where actually no ta could ever tell you okay now it's going up it's basically these moments when everybody is, is just selling and yeah or everybody has already sold and volatility starts to get low so this is something called market exhaustion when the bears are basically out of power and tyson and Tyson is spotting those moments of market exhaustion and actually it's saying it's most likely not going to go any lower because the bears are out of power. With that comes a chance of a massive breakout to the upside. It's actually not the other way around. With trend-based indicators, you get a signal after the move has already happened and maybe you got a tiny little bit of upside left, but it's not really about these massive pumps that we're looking for. So in conclusion, Tyson is looking for moments of market exhaustion. The bears are out of power. There is, there is no selling pressure anymore and most likely too many people are in short positions and this is a perfect opportunity for a massive short squeeze. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.